the all fuzzy biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minneapolis of Morney, Iowa. That is a 1970 Triumph Tiger 650 TR6R, I think is what they call them. And we are gonna go take that little hot rod for a ride. I think it's one up, no, one down, I hope. Three, down, three up. Well, that seems to work. <laughs> Check the brakes right quick. It's got a right side shift. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. You cannot shift with your left foot as I just tried. Let's take it out on the road real quick. Third gear. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful 1970 Triumph TR6R. <laughs> I love it. What a machine, what a machine. Sounds good. <laughs> we'll go out to the mile, Mark. What a grin. These have about 42 horsepower. It's an air-cooled parallel twin. Overhead valves, cams are in the bottom. Loads of fun. Lightweight, they're like 360, 370 pounds. I'm not sure what that is in kilograms. I'll put that down below. Nobody behind us. That should be first gear. <laughs> Turns like a dream. Had to be careful, we had rain here recently. I gotta get used to the clutch. 1970, so the uh, engine and the frame numbers do not match, but they're both 1970s numbers. I guess you run out of gears at four on this thing. <laughs> what a beautiful machine. I love the color. I just love that color says 1970 all the way. What a grin. Big old drum brake on the front. Looks like a dual leading shoe. Certainly a drum brake on the rear. I love the sound. The sound is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good grief, what a machine. What a machine. It feels excellent. We better slow down for town, huh? <laughs> oh, good grief. What a hot rod, what a hot rod. If y'all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike like this one, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or go to baxtercycle.com. Make sure you tell those fine folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's see what we can do here. What a grin. What a grin. It's a real handling machine. These bikes are so light. You know what? We're going to we're going to dare today. We're going to dare to do the uh, spin test. Nobody behind us. Very different feeling clutch. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I went a little loud. Went a little loud there, a little wide. That's my fault, not the bikes. What a machine, what a machine. We will stay off the gravel with this one, even though it is a Tiger. This has a single, I think it's an Amal carburetor, probably a concentric. We'll take a look at that when we get stopped. Look at that, it just spins around like a dream. This is, uh, this is a lot of fun to ride. This is a lot of fun to ride. I love the way these things feel. You know, you ride one of these, you really see where an interceptor comes from. The old classic interceptor by Royal Enfield. This is the ancestor to that motorcycle. Look at this, huh? Oh, what a grin, what a grin. If you all ever make your way to Mighty Metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, make sure you get over here to the derail grill right there. Try their Wahoo Burger. This thing is fun. What a great day. You know, who knows? You know, it's just uh, loads of fun. The, the lightness of these things, the nimble handling. I don't know what the wheelbase is. I'll try to figure that out and post it below. The shifting is awesome. You know, it's got the old school shifting, but it, it feels good. 
these levers or something else are stamp steel gorgeous machine we are not going back yet we are not going back yet <laughs> i'm a liking this i like this i like the color i like everything about it i think it has the pea shooter pipes we'll, we'll check that out when we get back we'll uh, take a good look at it starting to get the hang of the uh, shifting on the right but not the braking on the left gotta take it a little easy on this one there is motorcycle park down there we will stay out of there today we had a lot of rain last night so <laughs> what a grin what an absolute grin oh it's so tempting to try to spin them but uh you know a little respect the thing is uh 57 years old <laughs> We will try to do a little spin here though, a little turn, not, not the, we'll just see what she does. Oh, she turns like a dream. Turns like a dream. Excellent. Excellent machine. That is fabulous. The lightweight, the short wheelbase, the uh, torquey little motor. Like I said, I think these put out about uh, 40, I'm gonna say 42-ish, something like that. 38 to 42 horse. Let's take a look at ourselves in this uh, little uh, window over here. Look at that. Good looking motorcycle. Look at that. Pea shooter pipes, painted fenders, black stripe. I like a chrome headlight. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What a gorgeous machine. I do not want to go back, but I think I have to. I don't know how much fuel I have. I didn't check before I started. <laughs> all right my friends we're gonna head back over here to the shop and i will park this hot rod get the other camera out we will do a quick walk around and see what we can learn about this thing what a gorgeous thing just a piece of rolling art in my mind the brakes feel good it's it's amazing how good this thing works i'm sure it's been through the shop obviously we rode one very similar to this a while back There's the horn. I'm guessing this is high lows. Headlight switch here, so there'll be daytime running lights and then the headlight itself. One of these is probably a neutral light. The other one might be a headlight indicator. All right, y'all, that was an absolute treat. Look at this hot rod. Uh, I did not want to come back, did not want to stop. What a beautiful machine. Just let that soak in, you know? This is the uh, last year with the oil tank. 71 they started doing the uh, oil and frame thing the seat got a little taller the uh, tank went away you know just look at this thing what a tight engine absolutely gorgeous i love these brakes you know look at that dual leading shoe the in inlet here the inlets are usually covered it's, you know they uh, only uncovered them for racing there's the exit right there ribbed up here yeah that's a little warm we got a little warm we did a little braking look at that covered tubes just gorgeous gorgeous machine okay let's get to the engine so it's a 650 unit engine we know it's a unit engine because it's one piece tranny and the engine it's got the nose cone on here it's got the big old heart probably points under there might be electronic i'm not sure the distance between the kicker and the uh, shifter is another indicator of what this engine is then we got the angle fins fins up here also external oil lines and then look at this an amal concentric carburetor gorgeous you know we better shut the fuel off just a gorgeous thing i love that air cleaner what a beautiful beautiful machine check out that tank black stripe down the middle the chrome piece white pinstripes beautiful absolutely beautiful get the fuel all the way shut off knee pads I even say triumph on them and of course let's get a good look at that check that out a little badging there chrome white background Black Triumph, little chrome outlines. Just a gorgeous thing. This is art. The coils are down here. There should be two of them, one on each side. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's look under the seat if we can. That's how you check the oil. Look how good that is. Look how clean that is. Isn't that just amazing? Very well done. That's how the tank's held on. Battery under there. Little cable there to keep the seat from going all too far open. Just a gorgeous thing. I'm amazed the stripe goes all the way down. That's that's really neat. Very well done. Very well done. Seat looks new. Triumph on the back. Chrome grab bar. 
foot pegs for the pea shooter pipes. Wow, I love the frame. Look at that. A single down tube here, splits right there. Just look at that. The gorgeous pipes, the splitter right between them there. I love, I always get a kick out of these swing arms, the tube steel swing arms. Chain adjusters here. This is a speedo drive right here for the speedometer, mechanical speedo. Then jumping over here, the mechanical brake. I call this the half shoe brake. I'm not sure what it's really called, but that's what I call it. I always get a kick out of these adjusters. When I was a little kid, that was one of the first things I learned how to adjust on a motorcycle is the uh, brake, rear brake, and front brake. Look at that. That's the electronics of the day, 1970 electronics. Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Look at that. I like it. Hey, what's this? The center stand. It has a center stand. Awesome, awesome. What a machine. What a machine. Wow. Check out that kickstand. Just a real good looking, good looking bike. Everything classic is right there, you know. Jumping up here. You know, let's just start here. Look at that headlight. It just stands right out. Everything's chrome about it. Got the lights, the amp meter in there. Fabulous, fabulous. It says Lucas England right down there. Jumping up here. I'm guessing these are, I was going to say they're Smith gauges, but they're not marked that. If they are Smiths, probably even if they aren't, there's a place just down the road here for a guy. He repairs those. He can rebuild them from nothing to everything. New glass. He can crimp the uh, edges and all that neat stuff. I'll put his uh, website right up here. Okay. Clutch lever. High lows. Horn. I think that's the horn. <laughs> Is it the horn? <laughs> you know, fuel. Brake. There's your adjuster right there. One of them anyway. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, tack drive. How about that? Where's that at on this bike? Right here. It's a mechanical tack drive. It's not electronic. These were still ran off cable. Cable goes right in the back here. Same with the Speedo. What a treat of a bike, huh? I love this bracing. Again, the black stripe, white pinstripe. Very well done. I just love these brakes. You know, these dual leading shoe brakes are so cool, I think. Absolutely fabulous. So this is a 19 inch front. I don't know about the rear, rear end here. Dunlap Gold Seal tires, K70s. I can't see a mark for the uh, size. Oh, 18 right there. What a, what a machine. <laughs> I am in love. Every time I see one of these, I just fall in love with them. So the frame and the engine are from the 1970, but they're not matching numbers, but they're both 1970 zero numbers. Very nice, very nice. Any day you get to ride a bike like this, this is a great day. If y'all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike like this one, they've got a room over there with about 100 different ones in there. Get yourself over to Baxter Cycle, the Mighty Mini Tropolis of Marnie. Parts, accessories, doodads, books, service, experience. They got it all, they've been here since, uh, I think 1977. So they know what they are up to. They are the largest classic British bike parts supplier in North America. If they don't have it, you're gonna have problems. <laughs> now it's a beautiful day here. I just changed all of my motorcycle and I think I'm gonna go for a ride. If the weather's good where we all are at, get out there and ride my friends. Life is good. Wahoo!